A long, long time ago, relationships were much simpler than they are today. These days, there are so many different types of relationships, and one that has hit the table a lot, especially since the internet, is long-distance relationships. Let me say, first off the bat is that with any relationship, be it where you live miles apart or thousands of miles apart, the eventual goal is to have you two be together. No long-term relationship is fully complete without the closeness that happens when physically together, and that incorporates the mental, emotional, and spiritual aspects as well. Hi and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Ernie Silovic and I'm a relationship trainer and therapist where I teach couples how to be masters in the art and science of love. Romance, communication, fun, excitement, passion and emotional fulfillment. Even in the days when pen pals were much more common and a couple realized they had fallen in love, their ultimate goal was to be physically together. Long distance relationships have an extremely high failure rate because they can be difficult to sustain. If you have watched any of my other videos, you'll know that one of the reasons we fall in love is because of the time we spend with someone. Compare that to having someone living overseas and then spending time with them who compliments you, is right next to you and you feel a connection with. The person who is physically closer has a much higher chance of winning you over is 1000 times stronger. Also, another reason we fall in love is because of how we feel about ourselves when with the other person. This can be difficult to maintain over long distances since our time with them can be limited as compared to if we were physically next to them. Some things to be on the lookout for are if your partner is potentially stalking you online, asking you a thousand and one questions to the point where you feel interrogated. If the questions appear as if they do not trust you and are looking for a reason to accuse you, any controlling behavior or where you feel you have to constantly answer to your partner. Answering to and being able to take accountability for our errors in relationships is something only mental and emotional maturity can bring. Keeping emotions to yourself and not fully expressing yourself is a red flag for future issues. Besides respect, how trusting are you of yourselves and each other? Is one of you doing more for the relationship than the other? Are you feeling involved in your partner's life and like you matter? What are your financial, religious and long-term goals and objectives? In my view, there are only two real deal breakers in relationships. They are children and religion. By that, I mean that nothing can be done with a couple if one wants children and the other doesn't. Compromise, which is such a large part of relationships, cannot solve this. As they say, you can't be a little bit pregnant. Likewise, when there are two opposing religions and both of you are strong-willed about your own, no amount of mediation can hold two people together. Now that we have covered some of the reasons why long-distance relationships can have a difficult time lasting, let's talk about what we can do to maximize our chances of success. Firstly, I wish to reiterate that the goal of any long-term relationship is to live together. I have heard of the rare instance where couples live in separate houses, and to me, this is not a sustainable or real relationship, as time is again limited and there is no real sharing. Having set up the main goal for any and every long-term relationship, let's begin. Firstly, one of the most important ingredients in any relationship between partners is not so much love. Please make sure you hear me. Yes, love is of utmost importance, yet there is something else that precedes it, and any guess is what that is. You might be thinking, trust. Trust is also of utmost importance, yet what I am thinking is different, still. The number one thing couples need to have for each other as well as for themselves is respect. If there is no self-respect or mutual respect, this simply leaves the relationship open for all sorts of issues. How many videos have I watched on YouTube where either partner is enticed to leave their current partner and go to someone else simply because they apparently have more money or a better lifestyle? These potential cheaters, had they any self-respect or respect for their partners, would not allow themselves to be put into such situations or simply say no when being offered a different level of living compared to where they are at. There is a lot of truth behind the phrase, behind every successful man is a woman. If you are a female, know that you have a lot of influence in your man's life, whether he makes it or not. If you are a man, you need to know she has her own thoughts and feelings and respect them, not treat her as a doormat. If you have control or power issues, then go get help while starting to gain some self-respect yourself. Next, and this is more so for men and that is, females love it when they have something to look forwards to, be it catching up to communicate, a weekend getaway, a trip to see each other, dinner together online, or whatever. Build that anticipation with your lady. Third, communicate regularly, preferably daily, and share what is going on with each other emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. If you feel upset, share it. If you are happy, share it. If you feel afraid, share it. 
That level of communication is the start of creating a bond that most couples don't feel. Next is about gift giving. I talk a ton about this in my program. Send love notes or messages to your partner. When distance is involved, send gifts via the post, no matter how small. Write letters instead of typed. There is nothing more lovely than receiving a handwritten letter from your partner. Do your best to create happy memories. If you have ever ended a chat or call with your partner and you are still smiling or giggling, you know what I mean. I often tell couples who have had many negative experiences with each other that one of the best ways to start overriding them is by starting to create happy memories. Keep the intimacy going, either via phone, emails, or even through handwritten letters. The feeling of having our partner close by and next to us and allowing our imagination to run free is as close as it can get until the day you are finally physically together. Since something personal of yourself to your partner. I don't care if it is something as basic as a toothbrush, yet having something that is specifically yours and to be sent to your lover is one way of ensuring togetherness and intimacy. Sending something like lingerie that you have worn can work wonders as well. The post office does not need to know the details of what you are sending. With video calls being so common these days, share in the same activities, even if it is housework. Do the dishes together, take a shower together, ensuring the phone stays dry. Watch a movie together, have dinner together and set the scene with candles and nice music in the background. I'm sure you get the idea. I talk about this in lesson one on both my programs, and that is about date night. At least once a week, go out on date night. If that means pretending to be a cafe having a coffee, coffee while on video chat, so be it. If it means both of you ordering pizza and eating it at the same time, the list is endless. Let your imagination run wild with this one. And finally, for this video, and possibly one of the most important things, keep your independence. Just like any couple who is physically living together, both of you have your own lives to live and responsibilities. Do not lose yourself in the relationship. If you are doing cooking lessons at an evening college, then share that with your guy afterwards instead of disrupting the class, as an example. Make sure you leave room in your life where there are still things to share. I go into much greater detail about this in my programs, so take full advantage by ensuring you continue getting more free, great quality information by clicking on one of the other videos at the end here. Or if you really want your relationship to move forwards in the most effective way, start going through your program, Awaken His Passion, A Course for Women, or Awaken in her passion, a course for men. I provide a lot more information on this very specific topic. You receive a full 30 day money back guarantee and get to listen to two thirds of the course with online support in our undergraduate Facebook group to find out if it is a good fit for you, so click on the link in the description box. I trust to see you in our undergraduate Facebook group.